What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial and today I am going to be showing you how to make Flappy Bird in Scratch. F so first let's create a new project. I'm going to call this project Flappy Bird. Next delete the Scratch Cat and I'm going to create a new sprite and I have a costume for my backpack. We're going to call this sprite player. When the green flag is clicked, let's set our size to 400. Next, we're going to go to 00, zero and we're going to make a variable. We're going to call this y velocity for this sprite only. We're going to set y velocity to 10. Next, we're going to say forever. Change y velocity by negative 1. And we're going to change y by y velocity. So it jumps and then it falls down. So it jumps and then falls down. Next. Let's get an if statement. I'm going to say if if mouse down or key space pressed. We're going to set y velocity to 10. So we can fly now. But as you can see, if we hold up, hold on the mouse, it goes up and up and up. And that will be hard for the player when it's going through the pipes. So let's get this into a forever a, a separate loop, forever loop. And we're going to get a wait until loop, a wait until block. And we're going to wait until not mouse down or key space pressed. So we only can go one at a time when we press the space bar or when we click. Okay. Next, we want the flappy bird to like point in the direction. So we're going to point in direction 90 plus y velocity times negative 1. So it kind of goes down and it kind of points up when it's uh, like f when we uh, click or when it's falling. Okay, so let's make the pipes. First, let's create a new sprite. We're going to call this pipes. I have a pipes from my backpack. So what this what this pipes is going to look like is it has a pipe on the top and a pipe on the bottom, and we leave the center blank because the the flappy bird will go through that gap. So we're going to set our size to 400. So when the green flag is clicked, set size to 400. We're going to hide because we need to create clones. Hide and we're going to get a forever loop. We're going to forever create a clone of myself and we're going to wait, pick random, one to two seconds. Or just say one second. I'll say two seconds actually. So when I start as a clone, we're going to show. And we're going to change. We're going to go to here. And we want a random Y position. So we need to do pick random Y to negative 100 to 100. So it will look like that. And we, we are going to repeat until our X position is greater than 240. Or greater than, our X position is greater than negative 239. So we're going to change X by uh, 3. And 
oh, it's not working because <clears throat> because we need to change it uh, to a less than. So it'll be less than like that, and we need to move to the left. So change x by negative three. So we have our pipes moving and stuff like that. So that's how you make a simple Flappy Bird game. And if you want to like add death or something, we can say over here, if touching pipes, we're going to stop all. Or if the Flappy Bird leave, uh, reaches the bottom. So, or our our um, y position is greater than negative 79, negative 179. We're going to stop all. So we can go through the pipes, and if we touch the pipe, it stops. And if we reach the bottom, it stops. So yeah, that's how you make a simple Flappy Bird game in Scratch. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.